Hey there everyone, this is Danielle taking a look at the Harvestella Prologue demo. I don't know a lot about Harvestella, uh, I know it's from Square Enix and that it's like a farming game of some kind, beyond that I got no clue. <laughs> uh, so let's just jump in and have a little looky loo and see what it's about. Uh, presumably some harvesting. <laughs> Cool. Uh, option. HD Rumble. I mentioned this in the previous video. Y you need to tell me what the normal direction is if you're going to have invert as an option. You have to say what the default is, otherwise I'm not going to know whether I want to invert things or not. <sighs> Alright. Whoa! Uh, I guess I'll go with English. I don't know if I can change this later. In a lot of games you can, and doesn't say if you can in this one. Uh, into the second chapter of the story. 15 days of casting game. Fine. Oh, that's a promising start. Uh, and your appearance appears to be basically... Like your haircut and also your rays. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll be that one. Hair color can't be too exciting. Not bad. Eye color. Yeah. Ah, here I go. Ah. Oh. Okay, so regardless of the gender you select, you can pick either of these voices. Interesting. Yeah. I'm still gonna go with this voice too, but it's still cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess my name can be Ayn. I don't know if that impacts anything. Rise and slide and to wake up. I don't know what voice to use. I don't know what kind of person is saying this. This is getting a little framey. I mean, have an arrest. Okay, you've got like the flannel scarlet wings going on. Is that what we're looking at here? Thanks, girl. I'm all better now. Are you a vampire? What's, what's happening? I like this outfit that covers like half of me, kind of. It's um, very vast edge Kai. I like it. Good. I can't go that way. I have to go the other way. I get the impression the Switch is kind of struggling to render this. I think this game might be available on Steam as well. I might pick it up on there if I if I like it. Big scary monsters will probably you off your start so when quiet as comes. Fine. Okay, so I have to talk to Flandor again. Sorry, me said I'm not to open the door. And save the girl. I'm not sure why this isn't voiced. Uh, it feels like it should be. 
So I did pick voice in English, and I'm not getting any voices. Oh. How hard it gets. How hopeless it is at time. Don't turn. Panda, where'd you go? You got the same wings, I'm just gonna say. <laughs> That's her name. We're gonna tell me her name for her. <laughs> It's quite a different intro to a farming game compared to, like, Stardew Valley, for example. Um, rather than, you know, Grandpa's shitty bed, we've got, um, a volcano frozen in time or something. That's cool. <laughs> oh, time for a nap. Is this, like, a prophecy? I need to do something to stop that volcano, or...? very different to what I was expecting from a game that's apparently a farming game. I guess we'll see. Might be kind of like Rune Factory where it's an RPG that also happens to have Harvest Mooney elements in it. Oh, why now? I should be out on Doctor's... Excuse me, you. I think it's about time you woke up now. No? That's fine. I have something for that. Oh, hello. Oh, you're awake. Forget I said that. It's not like I was going to use magic on you to wake you up or anything. I'm Cress. I'm Dr. Vleet's Village. It's the town at the bottom of this hill that we call Bird's Eye Bray. Now it's my turn. I don't think I've seen you around here before. No local in their right mind would be out walking around during quietus. You a traveler or something? Hmm? Seems like your memory is a bit fuzzy. Oh, never mind. I've got to go. Come to my clinic in Leith when you're feeling a bit more with it. Police village. Oh. I was gonna go get that treasure, but I guess I can't. <laughs> Install items in yellow storage boxes. All of the storage boxes are connected to each other on the inside. Like I said, with the Resident Evil game? I'm trying to work out what I'm playing was talking about. You, you found clouds in the hill, right? Yeah. What's it to you? Anyway, I'm Van. This is Leith Village. If you're looking for Cress, she's probably in her clinic. Hey, I'm on to you. And we take you to the clinic, don't you? Sorry, no can do. I may not look at it. I'm actually super busy right now. Right in the middle of a game of Princess and the Omen. After this, I'm going to play Conalu Catch with Vent and everyone. I'm hard to find though. Stop with the hill in the square, you can't miss it. I'm guessing there'll also be a quest mark pointing me to it. Ooh. 
really easy to get there. Just follow the street and then climb the steps in the village square. I'm guessing those, like, fancy statues are save points? Well, see you later. Get back to my game. Use my resting minus. Not that kind, um, like this one, for example. I, mean, I can't interact with them, but my guess is that those are save points. Maybe not? Maybe they're decorative. Every house seems to have one, so they might just be like some sort of decoration people have in this setting. Still really no clue what game I'm playing here. <laughs> Dim, you're back. Now that you're here, would you mind mixing up the mayor's medicine? Oh, I'm not Dim. Um. <laughs> oh, it's you. Welcome. Come in. How are you feeling? Remembering anything yet? Ah, uh, I see. Well, you were outside during Quietus. Oh dear. You've forgotten about Quietus too? Even we doctors still know very little about it. Quietus is the season of death, when dust from the sea's light is abnormally emitted into the atmosphere. It comes in between the four seasons. We believe the dust can be deadly when it enters the body. But everyone usually stays inside during Quietus. Now then, come over here, please. Why are you just standing there? I have to give you a medical exam. Crest gives you a medical exam. For now, your body seems to be in working order. You're very lucky for someone who fell ill during quietus. It's a miracle you're still alive. Anyway, this works out for me too. I was just running out of bed, so it's a good thing you're better now. For now, regarding your next... an earthquake? So dark out. Press, it's an emergency. Him, what's that shaking just now? The sea slot is acting weird. Come, quick. Those tremors of death. Go after Crescent Dim. Leaves a clean head. I wonder if jumping is going to be useful, so it'll be like jumping puzzles or anything. So far there hasn't been anything that jumping lets me do apart from look cool. <laughs> oh, that looks different. Oh, this is divine retribution. Our time is coming. These light is intensifying, but why? Why is it meant to be over already? Look. I'm looking. Borealis? This time of year? Is this like a comet or something? Hmm. What was that? Did you see that? I told you it's divine punishment. Did it land in the North Square? I'm scared. 
Look at you two scaredy cats. Our town's in peril. We've got to go and find out what's happening. Why don't we already know Malika's name? I haven't been told Malika's name. It's, it was just saying, like, young girl or whatever before. Why is it saying a name now? Wait. Hey, you don't run off like that. Damn, let's go too. There might be casualties at the scene. Go and look at the meteorite, along with everyone else. Okay, I can sprint by holding ZL. I think the game's told me that. This is definitely not the kind of game I was expecting in the title. I can't believe it. How could something so massive fall out of the sky? Imagine if the Order were here today. Imagine how many people would have been injured. Everyone's alright. On the bright side, it looks like no one got hurt. Stay away from the crystal, everyone. It could have harmful effects on the body. Can someone inform the mayor? He should be back in town by now. We will. Vent, Vant, come on, it's our time to shine. Let's go! Alright everyone, show's over. We'll take over from here so the rest of you can go home. Oh, that's with the travel that my sister told me about. You better go home too. Wait, what's this? Is a door? Yep. An entrance? You mean, go inside? Yeah, I'm just gonna immediately do it. That's the normal thing to do. Hey! No one has told you to go in there, except for the quest marker. You're still recovering. Head deeper into the crystal. Um, like a spaceship or something? I think you're clad in armor. Uh, uh. You're in pain, but still breathing. Red. Bean. I'm this. Hey, are you okay? What's going on in there? Person? Like, a human person? Maybe. This thing. That's... Travel, get away from it now. You crazy? Treat an omen? Oh, right, you're an amnesiac, aren't you? Probably doesn't mean much to you. Well, long story short, omens are trouble. They might be the ones behind Quietus. Well, yes. You're right. I can't pretend I didn't see it. Isn't that right? I don't... Come on, let's carry it outside. You mean Dad? The omen's the omen's not her dad, right? Press. That's. It was inside. It's alive. That's not what I meant. Yes, I know, but I can just leave it there. Press, Tim, you found anything about the flying object? Ma! My goodness, I'm astounded. This is the crystal of crash landed here? 
It's enormous. Now, there was an omen inside it. Oh, it does look like one. Now, now please tell her, we're not helping any omens. It's clearly all they're doing anyway. Noise out there. Well, that is an oversimplification. Ah, uh, you the traveller I've been hearing about? I hear rumours that you came from afar during Quietus. Yes, this is the person with the rumours. It's just been one thing after another. What on earth is going on? Now, all my beds are still full from last week's incident. But I can't just leave this wounded omen. Or this traveller here either. Indeed, we cannot provide a refuge for an omen in our town. I thought so, but as a doctor, I can't leave behind the injured under any circumstances. Calm down, Cress. I just said we cannot keep the omen inside Leith Village. What do you mean? There's a spare shed on Bird's Eye Bray, isn't there? No one would notice if you took it there. I grant you permission to treat it there until it regains consciousness. Ah. Now to carry this omen over to Bird's Eye Bray. You lend me a hand, traveller? Hmm. I won't be able to treat this omen if I can't get under its armour. What is this thing made of? It just won't come off. But that's why it's pointless even trying to treat an omen. Whereas all you can do for now is let it rest. Now, as for you, what brought you to our town? Just a shed? It looks like quite a big house. Now, nah, her memory was affected by quietus. I see. You were incredibly lucky to make it this far, this far out during Quietus. Lendor Scarlet saved me. A girl? Hmm. None of the villagers should have been out at the time. While was in a weakened state at the time, it's not unlikely that she may have experienced hallucinations. Hmm, perhaps. In any case, she could probably do with some rest. This shed has been vacant ever since the last owner left. You may use it as you please. This shed is a house. <laughs> like, it's probably just the one room, but this is quite a sizable room, and it's very livable. <laughs> Got nice lamps and everything. <laughs> now, excuse me, but I must be on my way to a village meeting. We have to decide on a plan of action regarding the crystal that landed here. Rez, Dim, I'm leaving the rest with you. Prez, are you sure you want to take in this oak? Yes. There you go, getting too involved again. Put yourself on the line too much. I'm going back to finish the rounds. Sorry, I've been so preoccupied with everything going on at the moment. Been through much more than I have. Take it easy for the rest of the day. I'm sure your body must still be fighting off the effects of quietus. I'll leave you to it. I'm coming back to check on you tomorrow, alright? He was suddenly overcome with the feeling of tiredness. Time to get some rest. Like, even if this is the only room, this is a pretty sizable, like, little house. This is not just a shed. Nice roofing, all this, there's a big bunch of storage, you've got some nice tables. Sit over here, do some work. I don't know what they're calling it a shed, this is not a shed. 
game will autosave when you rest in bed and the day ends. Chapter 1, The One From Beyond. Somebody's here. Oh dear, were you still sleeping? It's already afternoon, sleepyhead. Well, if you're sick, you're sick. Not much we can do about that. How are you feeling? I never got your name. Remember what it is? I could remember that much, at least. I'm gonna give you a quick once-over. Hold still, please. Hmm, okay. Still nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, that's right. The mayor asked me to give you something. Would you mind coming outside? I nodded. I do mind coming outside. Not the most conventional gift, but here you go. Received three carrot seeds. Oh, oh, okay. Farming time. Three stellar wheat seeds. It looks like everyone in Leith Village pitched in. You've got a good plot of land here. I guess he's hoping you'll put it to use while you get back on your feet. Which, I must say, makes perfect sense from a doctor's perspective. It'll keep you busy, since it's easy to feel gloomy or despondent when you don't have something to work towards. And when the mind suffers, so does the body. No point in dilly-dallying, let's get to work. Don't worry, I'll teach you what to do. I'm not an expert, but I know the basics. You want me to help you? I'm a doctor, not a farmer. I can barely lift the tools by myself. Besides, doing it yourself is the best way to learn. Plow the earth, plant seeds, and water them while char changing out your tools. Okay, so, uh, yeah, farming game. I'm in game time. Hi, Primrose. Yeah. And then this room. I did close the door most of the way, but I left it a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Not very neat. Can I plow again? Will it let me? It will. Is it using up energy or something when I plow? Oh yeah, there's a yellow bar underneath my... I'm guessing the white bar is my health? In the bottom left corner? Oh, it's under my face. Hang on. I need to move some stuff around. Uh, over here might be better. Let's see how that goes. There are some buttons on that side as well, but it's probably alright. Power up, power up, power up, and then I use uh, the D-pad to empty my backpack, pop it to the other seeds. Right. So holding ZR, up, change to water and camp. Okay, so holding ZR gives you the tool belt on the side, on the left side there. Water and can time. Crops on your farm need water to grow. Water them every day. Okay, so it is a farming game, but the intro is so... idiosyncratic? Hmm, sure. Not half bad. We're gonna be on this side again. There we go. You seem pretty good with your hands. Keep it up and I'm sure you'll have no problem. That wasn't so hard. Pick things up pretty quick, hmm? I wonder if I should put you to work at the clinic. I'm kidding. I'm definitely kidding. <laughs> Although, this farm has seen better days. You must have had a hard time working on it. It wasn't that bad. 
Oh, really? But what about those rocks? I'm sure they're gonna get in the way if you leave them there. Tutorial on how to get rid of them? If you had a hammer or something, you could break down those rocks and have more space for your farm. I don't suppose you have one, do you? Didn't think so. In that case, you'll just have to make one. I'm afraid not, but it's best you make one for yourself anyway. You're gonna have to be self-sufficient to live here. Make a hammer with some hard stone. I'll show you how to make it, but you gotta gather the materials first. You should be able to find the materials you need at the Njord Step. Oh, right, you probably don't know where that is. You'll find the Njord Step if you get off this hill from that gate over there and follow the road east. There are monsters around there though, so be careful. And what else? Oh, yeah, you can have this. You received a sandwich from Crest. You must be hungry after all that farm work, right? Here's something for you to eat. It's a good idea to fill your stomach before you head out on any journeys. Because if you wait until you're weak and passed out to eat, then it's already too late. So you'd eat that and restore the energy you spent. Understood? Food and stamina. You can recover stamina spent working the farm or age fills to battle by eating food. The hunger gauge fills temporarily out after eating if you can slightly feel your stamina recover on its own. Well then, I'll be heading back to the clinic. Heading. Heating. Heading. If that omen opens their eyes after I've left, then let me know right away. Oh, we know. We can't see their eyes. They've got like a helmet covering their whole head. Time passes automatically in this game. Your ability will be reduced and your actions limited as it gets later in the day. The clock reaches midnight, you will collapse from exhaustion. Make sure to go home and sleep before that happens. Okay, so I need to go get hammer supplies. Uh... Guess I just need to head... down the hill like they were talking about? On the world map, the passing of time corresponds to how far you have travelled. Call the nearby Lee's village or head east to the Nord Step. Your step. You think there'll be combat because you're talking about monsters? Okay, so those are the monsters? Right. Your step, yep, that's where we are. Oh. Oh, okay. Hang on, where's that sandwich? So this is a real-time combat system. I wasn't really expecting that. I guess it makes sense, because... Like, Stardew Valley has a combat system kind of like this, but... For some reason I was expecting it to have turn-based combat, more like an Atelier game. Do I have a better way to dodge dodge enemy attacks, or just this all I have to deal with? Hmm. Treasure? Arab seeds, always good. Like fragments. Alright, so they have like a shockwave attack. Can I dodge roll or something? Feels like I should be able to in order to avoid getting hit, but I can't figure out a way of doing it. Because just running away isn't quick enough. Babe.
Is this the watering can I'm hitting people with, by the way? Like, it's the same icon. I assume it's supposed to be like a sword, but... It's like a sword-shaped watering can? Or something? <laughs> I think these guys are a bit tougher. Or they're not enemies. Have you found it? Yes, it's inside of the Spring Seas Light. Are these omens? Unitary Nightmare? Most likely, yes. Alright, have an idea. Let's reconvene with Dianthus and the others. That's only a good time to talk to them. It's probably best to stay out of their way. Okay, so I can't go any further that way just yet, because those guys are doing some shit. Okay, I got some hard stone. I don't know how much I need. I assume more than one, but I don't really know. And I can't jump high enough to get onto those fire uh, platforms. Very, the jump is very small. This thing. These things are everywhere, but I don't seem to do anything. Back to the farm, I guess? I got some more seeds. Uh, I don't know if I have enough stone for planting, but I can try it at least. Uh, where's my farm? This way? Yeah, I think this is right. Mailbox. Mailbox. There's a storage box that's on my mailbox. Uh, that's the shipping box, because this is one of those games. There was hardstone here the whole time. Oh, that's a bit silly. Ah, here we are, this is the mailbox. Castle Lewis Times. Yeah, the thing that happened last night, which I already saw. I don't know how to craft. Is it a, a menu? Let's see it there. Go inside and see if there's something in here I can use. Home. Yeah, this is definitely not a shed, by the way. This is a house. I've already mentioned that, but... Ugh. Ugh. This stone is the ruined. Hmm. I, I don't know why they're calling this a shed. This is very clearly like a full-blown house right here. Storage. Here's a, there's a little kitchen. There's an attic, apparently. A loft. I assume I can place things in here because it's currently completely empty. Like, I could probably get furniture and decorate it. <laughs> this is not a shed. This is a house. <laughs> oh, very silly. Okay, well, I got some hard stone. I have, like, three, I think. Uh... Maybe I just need to sleep, and then I'll get ten hard stones. Okay, that's kind of a lot. I only got three. Okay, let's plant some more seeds anyway. Uh, I can't be able to plant those ones. We need to do something different. Oh, that's a monolite fragment. That's the problem. Uh, yeah, more carrot. Sounds good. Grid movement is a little weird. Can you hold the button? No, you have to press it twice. Okay. Eat, wild leaf, rest lettuce seed. Jump and plant and switch my tool over so I can walk. Stuff. Do I need to refill my watering can somewhere? I don't see like a meter or anything of how full it is. So maybe not. Okay, I think that's everything I can plant. Oh, I've got grass. I don't know if it's worth planting grass, because it's grass. But I'll put it down anyway, just to see what happens, I guess. Hmm. 
taking controls are taking a bit of getting used to. Okay. Yeah, the game wants me to go back to my house, so I will. Oh, I see. I have a couple of different screens of, of um inventory. Okay. Time for an early night. <laughs> Something happens in the evening? A loud sound coming from the other bed. Now I'm awake. Oh, interesting. What's going on? Having a bit of a glow over there? Error. Error. Abnormality detected in life support system. May cause irreversible effects to the body. Operator consciousness levels low. Cognizant, cognizant, judge, cognizant, cognizant judgment impossible. Checking atmosphere composition. Small amount of Gaia dust detected. Body affected by Gaia dust density. Rectifying. Guarding protected equipment. Oh. Damn. I mean, I don't want to assume, but apparently it's go. Sleeping peacefully. Better go and call Christ right away. Trying to tell me there was a human inside that omen armor this whole time? Fine. Are you sure this girl was inside the omen armor? Yes. Fair enough. I don't see what you have to gain by lying to us. Makes sense for, for the whole time. The fabric of her clothing isn't anything I've seen before either. I bet she works for them. She wouldn't let you guard them for what she looks like as Cress. Human wearing omen armor is pretty suspicious. Enough, Dim. It's no point just jumping to conclusions. What would you like to do with her, Cress? Indeed. I'm still unconscious, but we'll just need to wait and see for now. But Cress! But what? We can't just abandon her, can we? Fine, you don't mind, do you? I knew you'd see it that way too. I'll leave her in your care until then. Very good. Quite late, let's head back to the village. This is not a shed. Why did they call it a shed? Don't let you guard down. No excuses. I'll come back in the morning to see how things are going. Half an hour line. Also, the armor is sleeping peacefully. Might be a good idea to get some sleep too. Got some experience. Get the three. What the? Where the hell am I? Somebody's talking. Is it the only other person in the house? I was investigating the red in. Then. Ah, what happened to my gear? Oh, this sucks. Seriously, what is this place? Went outside. I mean, I, I think she's probably the, the girl who was in the omen armor earlier. That... No, it can't be. New Red Queen?
you. Are you asleep in the other bed? With the get up. Morning, Ayn. You're up early. You're awake? I'll get the mail. And did you say mayor? I have a bad feeling about this. Achoo! Ugh, it's chilly out here. I think my clothes are too thin. Whatever, I'm going back inside before I catch a cold out here. I'm curious about this character. So, can you tell us where you're from, miss? Can you tell me what year it is first? Like, what calendar do you use? Lunar? Gregorian? I'm not sure how it'll help, but it'll be used the Horean calendar, making it the year A55. Horean. Never heard of it. Though I don't get the impression any of you are making light of the situation. Well, we speak the same language, so at least I've got that going for me. What are you? What do you have to do with the omen? Omens? I have honestly no idea what you're talking about. Playing coy, huh? Tim, that's enough. Let's listen to what she has to say. Thank you. You don't know what, where you're from. I haven't figured that out myself. I'm looking at the clothes you're wearing and the structure of this house. I can't say I've ever seen any of it in the history books I've read. Hello, I guess they do resemble artifacts of what we would call the Middle Ages, where I'm from. It leads me to draw only one reasonable conclusion. I think I came here from the future. Huh? What do you mean by that? Trust me, I want to believe this is all a bad dream, but I might have to accept this as reality. It's safer to laugh with the lunatics after all. I to sit around doing nothing. My theory is correct and I am in fact from another time. And I have to find a way back. I need to come up with a plan. Not only that, but I need to figure out why that stone has appeared in this time as well. There's a lot that needs to be done. We're already out of time. I think she meant by that. Beats me. But whatever, no point dwelling on it now. I should head back to work. Do you need me here? No, you go on ahead. There's still something I want to do here. Got it. Don't stay too late. So, oh, fine. This vegetable you planted yesterday should be ready now. Go and harvest them. What, ready? It's those ridiculous seeds grow pretty quick. Anyway, you don't mind if I take a look since I'm here already. Come on, let's go outside. Okay, so it's a it's a farming game, but also there's a time traveler. In futuristic armor. <laughs> this is a strange title. <laughs> Damn, they did grow pretty fast. Vegetables you planted are looking good. I can see you're doing a fine job of taking care of them. Well, if you ship your crops, merchants can easily deliver them to families all over the world. And you'll earn yourself some money in the process of compensation. First, you should harvest your vegetable. You should harvest all your vegetable. Press A to harvest. The wheat's not ready. 
It's like I only the carrots are ready so far. Nice job with the harvest. Now that's done, would you mind putting them in that blue shipping box over there? Not done, there's more carrots. Looks like they're all in there. And your shipments should be collected at some point today. Then you receive money for everything you ship tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. You'll have to wait until then to see how much your vegetables sold for. And that about covers shipping. Any questions? Some of the crops haven't fully grown yet. Don't forget to water them later. That already. Oh, I was worried about you in the beginning, but now I see you'll be just fine. Thank you for Christ for showing her the ropes. Anyway, Ayn, I actually have other matters to discuss with you. Would you mind coming inside? This is the crafting table. As long as you've got a recipe and some materials, it's an invaluable tool for crafting items. This is for you. You received a return bell recipe and materials from the mayor. The recipe for an item called a return bell and materials will need to craft it. And you got him to have. When you use the return bell, you'll return home in the blink of an eye. There will come a time when your health recovers and you'll be venturing outside of Bird's Eye Bray. Find yourself losing track of time while you're out wandering, try using the return bell. Thanks. Make a hammer at the crafting table too. As long as you've got the materials, of course. One more thing. When you get a chance, please show your face at the stores around Leith Village. There's the general store, the smithy, the renovator. I'm sure you'll come to rely on them the more time you spend in Leith. Now then, I shall be heading back to the village. I have told you everything for now. Me too. I don't want Dim getting upset with me. Well then, have a good day, Iron. Yeah, I can craft stuff. Okay, so I can make a return bell. Are they reusable? I can make more than one of them, so they might not be. They only be used once. That answers that. Okay. Uh, I haven't got enough stone for a hammer yet. And I'm out of seed. Let's go beat up some monsters and get a few more seeds, I guess. Back to the Njord step. Feels like I could have a dodge roll. Maybe I'll unlock one once I've been trained in combat a little more. Look, like I can get skills I can equip, so.
think this was a dome? Oh, monolite fragments. Probably still can't go past these guys. Having the conversation from before. Yeah. But I can't actually advance that way yet. I assume once I've done enough other stuff, that path will open up. Hardstone. Hardstone. I think that's still not quite enough. Six. I need bombs to blow up that wall. Fine. I don't think I got any other seeds during that adventure. Not quite like any. I can't plant more stuff yet. And my stuff hasn't sold yet, so I can't buy more seeds to keep. About done for day one? Day sorry, day three. Okay. Oh, wheat seeds, there we go. Plant them. And find Planting area again. There we go. Fish around here. Ah, oh. rude. If I were me, I would simply have a fish. Oh, that's interesting. I assume I'll be able to break that with something later. Yeah, bomb level two, right? That's about all I can do for now. Where's my future goal going? <laughs> I'm for eat. Evening. In is that? Is that my, my friend? That mysterious future girl? Yeah, there she is. Living outside is out of the question, so we'll be staying in here for now. Just go about your business as though I'm not even here. Are you showing concern? Yeah. But I, I care about you. Look, I don't plan to stick around. I already have an idea on what to do next, more or less. Anyway, good night. Level up. Yep. Slightly increase all my stats. Give me some more health. My carrot sent out. I got some gorillas. 
I'm to wake up. Hmm. I hope the girl's already left. Fine, I'm coming in. Oh, you're awake. Morning. Uh, are you alright? Let me know if you're feeling off anywhere. Oh, well good. Take it that girl's already left then. As a doctor, I do wish she would have stayed and rested. But I doubt she would have listened to me anyway. In any case, let me know right away if anything happens to her, alright? Thanks. By the way, did you get the money from yesterday's vegetable shipment? Go did. Great. It might be a good idea to buy some new vegetable seeds with that money. They sell seeds at the police general store. It's worth visiting when you get a chance. You're welcome. Anyway, I've told you everything I can for now. What you do from now on is up to you. You might choose to expand your farm or grow more different kinds of crop. Just try lots of things and learn as you go along. All from me today. See you later. Have a good day. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Hello, wheat and lettuces, and I guess grass. I'm not quite sure what I can do with that, but I've got it. What are these ones? So they keep growing. Oh, they will go here. I haven't unlocked cooking yet, but I feel like I should be cooking some stuff so that I can make food. vegetable seeds, I suppose. I do have some gorillas now, so I can purchase them. You know, the game is mostly, like, standard, uh, Story of Seasons, Stardew Valley Fair, except that there's like a time traveling future girl? <laughs> oh, hello. Welcome to the general store. You a traveler of some sort? You don't see many of those coming to lease. Oh, it's you, is it? I heard all about you from the mayor. Sounds like you've been through a lot. I heard you started farming on Bird's Eye Bray, is that right? In that case, you're gonna need some seeds. Come to my store whenever you need some. Right now is the best season for dress lettuce and uni un onion seeds. It's so having to be fully stocked up on un something. Aside from seeds, we've got travel essentials, homemade meals, lots of stuff. Uh, that's why I'm here. I'm shopping. Uh, I can get a bigger backpack. Fishing knowledge. Hmm. Uh, they said that on the onions are good. Buy a bunch of those, and then I'm out of money. Oh, you can buy return bells. They're pretty pricey. Uh, I suppose I should visit some of the other buildings around town just to get myself introduced to everyone. Uh, the armory, I think? 
Get better swords. I'm definitely noticing some frame rate issues. Okay. Oh damn, you're pretty. This can often see out of town and turning up in here. Must be a traveler. Ah, so you're the one everyone's talking about. You're no traveller. You're a new resident, eh? Well then, please excuse me, but here's my smith. Make all the farming equipment and weaponry for the people in town. So pretty, what the heck? Look, call it a smithy's instinct. There'll come a time when you're gonna need a stronger weapon than that. You just got that look about you. So, with that in mind, you hesitate to come to me anytime you need something made. I'll need the materials and labor fee, of course, but I promise you won't be disappointed. Fortify your weapons. Business. Oh, you have a fun voice. Iron's weapon it changes form in accordance with the zone as well. Vibrates when close to monolite. Any copper ore to upgrade it. Okay. Cheers. I haven't got any copper ore. Um, okay, there's one more shop, which is the Renovator, which is way down there. So I guess I'll head down there and have a little look. I can't even jump over that, really. There's the uh, platforming is quite restrictive. It also feels like your stamina should probably just replenish automatically anyway. Other than requiring you to eat something, but I guess it makes more sense if you have to eat something. I'm giving you use it for dashing. It wants to uh, Zelda of the stamina bar or something like that, or you know, a Soulsborne one. I haven't seen you before. Are you a visitor? Damn, you're, you're pretty too. Everyone in this game is really pretty. Oh, I see now. You're the kid the mayor's been talking about. Beg your pardon. I run the renovator here and leave. I'm the one everyone comes to when they need buildings and farms restructured. Live over in Bird's Eye Bray, is that right? You must have a lot of farmland there. You're probably going to need sheds and pens for keeping animals, eh? Not to mention tools for processing crops. There should be a lot you're going to need down the road. Well, when the time comes, speak to me. We will be able to help you out. I don't want for free, obviously, but you'll over that later. Oh, that's how I get a kitchen counter. Okay. Good afternoon. Oh, it's expensive. So I'm, I'm not supposed to be able to cook until later. Please come again. All right. Interesting. Okay. I mean, two thousand isn't that expensive. Uh. It is more expensive than I can afford with my belly any money that I spent all on crops. And um feeds for making onions or uni onions or whatever. Right. So yeah, the basic vibe I'm getting is that this is essentially a story of seasons or um Stardew Valley kind of game. Uh, but also there's a time traveler just sort of hanging out. <laughs> it's it's an interesting interesting uh, decision. Uh, this goes here and then oh, this. this spot. What are these? Okay. Uh, I guess I'll go to the adventure zone for a little bit and see if I can uh, take out all the monsters, get some materials, and then that's probably a day. I don't know what this thing is for. I might be able to interact with it at some point.
Still feels like I should be able to dodge roll. Stone, good to have. Neat. I assume the combat will get more interesting than this once I get more abilities and things, but right now it's basically to smash the button and take hits and I don't really have a way of avoiding them. Based on the way they animate, I'm guessing there's going to be like a way to dodge out of the way when they're about to attack. And I can't keep going this way because those guys are still there. So it's about all we can do. Yeah, you can see I'm running now and that's draining my stamina. Oh, I ruined my face. That's, my face is in that corner, that's right. It is draining my stamina. <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> uh, bring this over here. The bird's eye bray. Everything's watered. I think the stellar wheat will be done maybe tomorrow. I forget when I planted it. Uh, and the onions won't be because I just planted them today. I can make a hammer. Let's do it. I don't know if hammers are breakable, or... Okay, I can't craft it again, so I'm guessing it's a one-off thing. Give it a shot. We're gonna go to bed soon, because we're nearly out of stamina, but... Give it a trust, trust it out first and see what it does. Might only work on smaller rocks until I get like a better hammer or something. That's not draining my stamina. The bar is not moving. I know I've got my face over it, but the stamina only drained when that rock actually popped, little one. is working. It doesn't feel very satisfying, uh, which I think is a bit of a problem with this kind of game. You really want the clean up mechanics to feel as good as possible. Yeah, that's it. Have a nap. I'm for eat. reading? Can I wake you? Sorry about that. I'm checking my diary. My mum always told me to keep a handwritten record of daily events. I thought it was silly, but here I am. Can you decide of it after all? Is it really okay to tell you what I guess I'll find out. I'm confirming who I am and how I live my life. My diary is probably the only way I can do that now. I've been pulled here by a rip in the fabric of space-time. Something along those lines. The course of history has changed, and there's a good chance that the future I know no longer exists. But, if I have memories of what's written in, reaffirming that what I remember is still real. It's more comfort knowing I haven't completely altered my memories or vanished through some time paradox. But, all that aside, this diary is all the proof I have that I am who I am.
All you need to know is that this diary is something like a compass in order to get back to my own time. You do have compasses in this time, right? I want to go home. If you have any recollection of where home is, then how would I know which way to go? Anyway, that's enough lecturing for one day. I'm tired. Good night. Remember what your name is yet? <laughs> Level three. Sent out a bunch of stuff. Got some nice money. Day five. Okay, I think I've pretty much got the gist here. Morning. Oh, someone new? Alright, it's your turn to be the omen this time. The what? Wait, how come you get to decide? Who are you anyway? People are talking outside. Go and see what's happening. What's an omen? I've heard about those. Are you serious? You don't know Princess and the Omen? What? They're behind the times. How can you not know Princess and the Omen? It's so popular. Oh, oh hey, Stumblebum. How you doing, Stumblebum? Why are they calling me that? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? We're here to play. Why would they call you Stumblebump? Actually, now that you're here, this is a good chance for me to sneak off unnoticed. Wait, where are you going? I just remembered I have something to do. But don't mind me, my friend here has candy. Candy? <laughs> there she goes. Pretty. No, right? What now? Do you want to play Princess and the Omen, Van? Forget Princess and the Omen. We're already at Bird's Eye Bray. Let's go to our secret hideout. Oh yeah, good idea. We built it ages ago, even before you came here, Stumblebum. Are you sure about this? It's our secret place. We're not supposed to tell anyone. Well, Stumblebum's our junior, so we've got to be nice and show her around. Or well, I'm our junior in any way. Well, we came to Bird's Eye Bray first. Doesn't that make us higher ranking? You're right. First, you can see our secret hideout, aren't you, Stumblebum? I might be interested. Next stop, the secret hideout. Follow me. Um, a secret hideout. Oh no! What? Let's throw our secret hideout. What about our treasure? We left it in there. Oh, this isn't good. Humblebum? Thank you, Stumblebomb Avengers, for the secret hideout. Why are they calling me that? Did it? Those monsters are toast. Gotta check on the treasure. Wait. Oh no, there's a big one. More of them? That one looks big enough to be their parent. 
I don't care who they are, Stumblebum. Get them. Enemy is even stronger than the last. Try a new skill on them. Ooh, skills. Here we go. With the job board, fighter, Lone Blaze. Ah. Neat. I was on a cooldown, I see. Enemies have certain attributes they are weak to. Attacking an enemy with set attribute increases the amount of damage you can do. I assume they're weak to fire, and that's why it's given me a fire. Skill is my first one. You didn't get hurt, are you okay? Phew, that's good. You know, when the parents showed up, I thought we were done for. So strong, Stumble. Look, over there! Our treasure! Only one piece! Thank you, Stumble. Oh, we owe you one. Back home with Van and the others. Fine. Thanks, Krebs. And is that you, Mal Mal Malika? What are you doing here? We were uh Ah, the chick is up. Explain the situation to Kress. It's eh? Look what they dragged you into. You didn't come check up on them. You ended up fighting monsters. Ooh, check on those monsters like a piece of cake. And name is not Stumblebum, now is it? This person has a name, and it's Ein. Oh, it is? Well, Ein, thank you so much. Did they just think that was my name? <laughs> thank you. Go around traveling, you're strong, you're so cool, Lion. Anyway, I'm glad you're all okay. But, no. Still gonna have to march you all home and tell your parents about the hideout you made in Bird's Eye Bray. No, please, Cress, I'm begging you. Aww. All you want won't help you now. Just get your apologies ready. Oh, Mom's gonna be so mad again. I'll take the kids the rest of the way. See you around, Ayn. Keep updated about the girl as well. Wait, Cress. I was gonna give us some candy before we go home. Oh, I'll bring it for you next time. Ducks. That was cute. Okay, so I've unlocked the skill tree now. Let me have a little look here. Yeah, it looks like that step thing might be like uh, a dodge step sort of thing. But I need more JP to use it, of course. And I'm, I assume I'll unlock more jobs that fill out the rest of this circle here with more options as I go. This is a pretty sizable demo. This is um, you know, the first, uh, the first chapter. It said the demo goes to the end of chapter two, so it must go pretty, pretty substantially. Uh, switch to watering. Yeah, is that everything? Yes. I don't have any uh, seeds with me. Nope. Wheat goes in the shipping box.
Monolite fragment. Oh, this way. Nice. What a view. Oh, a treasure. Not bad. Turn bell. Have a few of those, I suppose. They are single use. Uh, I guess I just go back to the, um, the fjord or whatever. Or what it was called. Yord step, that's it. Neat. Yeah, it looks like there'll be something on this this top button. Look, that's that's item usage, so maybe there are items I can use during combat or something. Hmm. Yeah, I think the step is basically uh, a back step, like a dodge sort of thing that I'll be able to use to avoid attack a bit more easily. Once I have the ability to use it, of course. Keep me. Those guys are still over there, so I can't go any further. Oh, I see. I can switch jobs with the um, that R button, as well as picking what skills to. I didn't give me a lot of job points, but I'm going to check. Job points, still 10. I didn't go up with those fights, apparently. Hmm. Maybe I only go up at the end of the day, like with experience. Can I go? Can I go down this way? Jade Forest? Can't proceed yet. Can't go there. Uh, in this story. What about going up here? Can I go to Hagen Canyon? We'll grab a couple more seeds. Uh, since I have a little bit of the funds I Um, yeah, I, th I think I've pretty much first thought of the game at this point. It's very similar to things like, uh, things like Stardew Valley and the Story of Seasons titles, uh, with a bit more of a combat focus. I think that's kind of like a Rune Factory, but also there's a Time Traveler, which is the weirdest thing. That part of the story is just strange to me. <laughs> uh, let me see. Now let's get some more Stellar Wheat. Lots of Stellar Wheat, there you go. Um, I don't know if I want to get this one, but the demo is really long, so I will at least finish the demo and see how I'm feeling about it. Uh, I'm enjoying it, and there's some cute characters. I want to find out more about the Mystery Time Travel Girl. Who wouldn't? Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm curious. I believe I can keep going past six 
spotted I'm in bed by mid plant, so I will go a little bit. The controls are a little janky. Uh, not quite doing what I expect sometimes. Uh, it's not super bad or anything, though. A little weird. Big rock sense to be able to get rid of the yeah, which Makes sense. That's usually a thing in this type of game, but it doesn't seem to have told me that. But it said you make a hammer that lets you get rid of rocks. So I was like, oh. Uh, I need one more. Box. Oh, there's one. Okay. Okay. No, it's water at all. It is now officially night time. I think it's watered. Back into the house and have a little rest. Okay, um, but yeah, that's uh Harvest Elephant's thoughts, I guess. It's it's very much a game in the vein in the vein of stuff like Stardew Valley and um Story of Seasons and Room Factory and that general genre. But also, it's got a time traveler. <laughs> that seems to be the main thing that's uh, distinguishing this one. Uh, it is having some frame rate trouble on the Switch, so I may need to look up whether there's like alternate versions of the game that will run better. I think it might be on Steam. So I will have a look at that. Um, because it's not going to be a Switch exclusive, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I will see what um, Future Girl is talking about here. <laughs> Oh, she's not there. Going outside. Going at the... Go and check on her. Hmm. Uh, anyway. Uh, I'm gonna leave you in suspense. Uh, I'm gonna stop the video there. <laughs> so, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope if this game interests you, you check it out yourself. This is a, a free demo I'm playing here, so... If you've got a Switch or whatever other console that's available on, because I don't know, then definitely give it a look if it looks interesting. Um, and yeah, this demo looks to be pretty long, because it's still Chapter 1, and this goes to the end of Chapter 2, so... Cool. Bye! <laughs>